Well oh, done. wait. But now, but now, you promised us that we get to go very fast now. You get to go on a straight line on the runway. Ah! <laughs> I think it's time to lunar drift. I mean, we're not going to drift. We're going to go in a straight line, very controlled, very professionally. Very calmly. We're going to go as fast as possible in this space truck. So we're trying to persuade them of how fast we should be allowed to go on the straight. Because it's like a multi-million dollar vehicle and we've never driven it before. The speed you'll be going is faster than anyone has gone on the moon. Okay. So that's the goal and that's what we'll give you guys on the straight away. Awesome. Let's do it. Five, go! For context, the moon record is 11.1 .1 miles per hour. So we just need to break that. And I think we're comfortably above 11.1. .1. I think it's breaking it. This is light speed for the moon. Official speed, 11.6. <laughs> so we did break it. You broke it. We did break it. The lunar record was 11.18 and we were going 11.6. Okay, 11.6 miles per hour might not sound that fast. And honestly, it didn't feel fast. But you have to remember that going too fast on the moon also isn't the goal. Because imagine what would happen if you were speeding across the moon and you hit a big bump at one sixth Earth's gravity. So while going faster isn't the goal, going farther is. More powerful vehicles will help us investigate regions of the moon that astronauts have never reached before, especially the lunar south pole, where craters in permanent shadow may contain frozen water, which could help support life on the moon or be used for fuel to go farther. So what this tells us is that if and when this vehicle is driven by astronauts on the moon, they can go faster than any astronauts have gone before. Mm -hmm. However, they will be second to us <laughs> who have done it previously. Okay, challenge two. 